After nearly five months of writers on the picket lines, a new tentative agreement with studios led to the end of the WGA strike. Here's Ashley Dvorkin. The Writers Guild of America strike is over. After 148 days on the picket lines, writers can go back to work. A message was sent to members announcing the strike would officially end at 12.01 a.m. Wednesday after the WGA West Board and the WGA East Council voted unanimously to recommend the tentative agreement reached with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. The agreement now goes to a ratification vote by the members, which will be held October 2nd through 9th. The WGA negotiating committee released details of the three-year deal with the terms writers have been fighting for on the picket lines, including wage increases, streaming residuals, and minimum staffing in writers' rooms. And there are new regulations for artificial intelligence. AI can't write or rewrite literary material, and AI-generated material won't be considered source material, meaning it can't be used to undermine a writer's credit. The committee also shared a comparison of what they asked for in negotiations on May 1st to what they achieved on September 24th. With writers back to work, late night shows will likely be the first to resume. Many film and TV productions are still halted as the industry waits for the actors to negotiate with the AMPTP next. SAG-AFTRA shared at this time they have no confirmed dates for that meeting, but will update members directly when they do. In the meantime, they called SAG-AFTRA members out to the picket lines as they continue their strike. In Hollywood, Ashley Dvorkin, Fox News.